straight into our newspaper review segment. The Daily Graphic, as I told you earlier, starts as well done. TUC tells government on economic management calls for gains to reflect in lives. Five die in Sundays, Accra rains, and all workers to contribute towards pension. Cabinet gives approval. Investment forum to Marco Tun Four's anniversary. The Finder newspaper this morning reports that economy to grow by 7.6% on the back of the increases in oil and gas production at Greek World Bank. Bank of Ghana to issue upgraded CD notes on May 6th and MTN records over 1 billion profits before tax in 2018. In the Daily Guide, Bank of Ghana upgrades bank notes. Five dead, two missing in Accra floods. MPP saves 7 billion in Mahama energy deal. Suspects spam swab missing in GPHA murder case. And all set for world to meet in Ghana Investment Forum. The Ghanaian Times says government sets up body to respond to earthquakes. And after Sunday's heavy rain, Meteo predicts more downfall, uh, downpour. Advises public to take precautionary measures. Three die after downpour in Accra, two missing. Translate economic growth into improving living standards. TUC tells government. My guest this morning, the Honorable Sam Nate George, is a member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, is here on behalf of the NDC. George, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Jenny. And the man they call Lejokuku Jay Z is the MP for Lejokuku. Uh, no, uh, have they changed it? No, it's, it's, it's Lejokuku. No, it's in Shona Jay Z. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, sorry. That's the garbage. <laughs> That's the garbage. <laughs> Dr. Okuboy, welcome. Right, Thank you nice very much. Time. He's also the board chairman of Kolibu, by the way. So he's a very big man. Uh, he's joined us here, you can tell. How are you gentlemen this morning? Uh, for me, I'm surviving mm -hmm. by the grace of Almighty God. Under the harsh economic realities that we live in, mm -hmm. one can only be grateful to God that air is free. Mm -hmm. If this Akufado government had this way, it would tax the air we breathe and, and, and try to make some revenue out of it mm -hmm. so that they can use it for parties, kinky parties. But unfortunately, or fortunately for us, at least the air we breathe, has, they cannot tax it. Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful to God for free air. Mm -hmm. Every other thing, <clears throat> this Akufado government is... I mean, Doc, how are you? Yeah, my brother. You know, it's interesting when you hear taxes from St. George. They had some serious penchant for taxes. You know. But anyways, the funny thing is that when you're in opposition, you are surviving. When you're in government, you are managing. So he says he's surviving. Some few years ago, he was managing or doing well. Mm -hmm. But you have to be prudent in your management in oh, government. Why are you putting a newspaper under your phone? Oh, all the issues are now. It, 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 are it, it, now. It's, it's the attitude of government. They're appropriating uh, everybody's uh, thing. They put their hands in your pockets. <laughs> Even TV3's uh, newspaper, they want to tax it I and take it. That the issues are under control. <laughs> Let's start off. The Bank of Ghana is set to introduce new uh, notes. They, say, they call it uh, enhanced notes, security features, and all in May. Um, Doc, good move, bad move. Somebody, for example, yeah. the TUC is asking that <clears throat> you should let the figures reflect in the lives of the people. Somebody says it's not about the beauty of the currency, it's yeah. about the strength of the currency. Yeah. What do you say? You know, my brother, um, let me say good morning to my brother, St. George, and to all your viewers, especially to my brothers and sisters watching from the <clears throat> Lejokuku constituency. Mm -hmm. um, because the rains have started coming, uh, it is important. I wanted to just see something brief on the uh, integrated recycling com composting plant. Mm -hmm. That was commissioned at the colleague on Hope City, that's mm. Kolibu, mm. last Friday um, by, uh, I think, Zoom Line. Um, waste, management of waste is a huge problem for this country. Mm. And most of the floods that are reported to take away and kill our citizens as a result of choking of our drains and all that. Mm. Attitude is one of them. But managing the waste is also very important. Mm. And you see, I, I myself, I gathered a lot of plastic bottles the last time, took it to a big uh, distributor of mm -hmm. um, this water, uh, bottled water, mm -hmm. and wanted them to take it and give me anything. Even if they would not give money, I wanted to know that they have a schedule mm -hmm. to receive bottles. I was shocked. They told me that they don't receive them. No mechanism. I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you're having difficulty in gathering such uh, the the plastic sachets they are like quite um, small mm. but with bottles which are defined even that they don't have a scheme and so these are anytime i see a project yeah, i was just saying this morning that yeah. all the companies apart from perhaps zoom lion yeah all the companies that we have employed yeah. to 
cart waste. Yeah. They don't manage it. They just collect and dump. dump. That's what yes. they do. They yes. don't manage the waste. And, and my brother, but it's supposed to be yes. managing yes. it. Yes. So this integrated recycling composting plant by Zumla, mm. you see, I believe that no operation is perfect. Okay. It is a huge step. And I'm, I was happy when I read a little about it and okay. realized wrap that, up for me on yeah, that. Yeah, wrap so up. Realize that they are going to have these in all the regions. What is interesting is that mm. jobs, which everybody is looking for, mm. usually lie in problems or challenges. It is the unraveling of a problem that creates jobs. How do we ensure that all the yeah. others, Jekora, yeah, Jason, yeah. Liu, so everybody look, else follows the in ministry? This line. I'm happy my brother is here. We must look at legislation. We politicians, we have to create the framework. Mm. If the sector has the relevant laws already, let's implement them. Let's make sure that we move away from these dumping sites. Mm. Apparently, since it started raining, even the dumping sites are not safe for the trucks. Mm. You understand? So, I mean, uh, we 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 need to see some signs. Okay. In, in this country. It, the leadership is, is in your hands, so yeah. so take it up and uh, deal with yeah, it. Thank I, you. I, I, Let's I talk about that. the CD. Is it the, the TUC, beauty, the beauty the of TUC the CD? mentioned the new notes, mm. but remember the, there's big well done. How yes. come you are jumping? Yeah, no, 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 but the, it says well done. As TUC official, tells government yes. on economic management yeah, if and calls the, for gains to reflect in the Excellent, election. excellent. So the conclusion so is also important. There is a like concession first. Yes, but the conclusion is important. So a question I'm asking is, is it the beauty of the note or the strength of the currency? Of course. And why do we want to do Thank it you. at this point? Thank you. Give me a small space of answer. First of all, the TUC is commending, it's saying well done to the government mm. for making sure that the macroeconomic indicators, the macroeconomic arrangement, mm. the environment for business mm. has improved, not deteriorated mm. from the previous ones that we had. Mm. And they are saying that let it reflect in the lives of the people, which is legitimate. Mm. In fact, the reflection has started already. It is only when an economy starts to grow that it can produce jobs and actually employ its citizens, especially in the private sector. Mm. Look, some things are facts. There was a freeze. In even in the health sector, you can enter when somebody retires. Not that they will take new badge mm. when we're under, we're under the IMF. And I've always quoted it in Parliament because I have it from Mr. Asai, Director General. Mm. All the facts. Between 2017 and now, 53,000 plus workers have been absorbed into the health sector. I'm talking about government payroll. Mm. Most of them cleared three, four years backlog. The point is that it is because the economy has been rejuvenated. Mm. It's not perfect now, but it's going on a rising trend. That's why it's able to absorb these people and pay actually for them. Now, anytime trade, the trade union calls for a reflection of performance indicators mm. in the lives of the people, what it means that we should work hard to make sure that the impact we want is what realized. Mm. So if you've received, if, sorry, you've reduced policy rate before we came, the mm. policy rate, that's the, 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 the rate at which banks, the central bank borrows money to banks, right. was around 25%. We've brought it down all the way to about 17%. Mm. Everybody knows that interest rates have gone down mm. from about 33 average before we came to about 27. That's not what we want. You want the rates to come down further, is that not so? Mm. But any business that, that was what was promised. Oh, by yes, but the thing has taken a downward trend. So at least it tells you that mm. we are on the path. Mm. If on coming we had 33% average and now we're having 35%, then you can say that this is a government that does not act according to its <coughs> word. You, you understand what I'm saying? And people forget. We've been in power for just over 24 months. So the, the, the yeah. beautification of the city is... No, no, as for that, I mean, we should not... Uh, no, no, I'm just I'm asking. Coming, coming. Yeah. We should not go away from the substance. No one who appreciates how a, a country is governed will say that it's about the notes. George, everybody, I mean, to be ridiculous to go that level. The most important thing is the strength of a currency. Mm. But those notes usually are important so that people don't get into the business of doing this counterfeit business. Mm. It has a way of making your currency unattractive. Already, the city over the years, it, it's not, uh, what's the word? It's not that, I don't want to use the word popular, but there are certain currencies that are traded in, uh, like beyond mm. borders. Mm. So Naira can be changed, let's say, in Ghana. When you go to, let's say, Burkina or go to, let's say, Mali and you're holding Ghana's notes, mm. it is not too, it's not regular okay. that they will be able to change it into their currency for you. Mm. So the point I'm making is that there are some things you do to your currency to make sure that it is reliable. Mm. When they see it, they know it is likely to be the real and, one. And this will do that? Oh, of course. I mean, adding security features. There are gold standards in every sector. Mm. When you go to the US dollar, you know most places that you take, mm. there are some features they look at. That's what we are trying to do. And we should be careful not to mix the two. Okay. Trying to improve a currency's um, safety 
has really on honestly nothing to do with its strength. We are not saying it's the beauty. Mm. Obviously, it's the strength that is important. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. George, step in for me. Uh, the TUC has made a call. Oko Boy says the, the macroeconomic indicators are beginning to look better and that they are doing better than you did. The vice president said the same. <laughs> what do you say? Let me say a very good morning to mm. our viewers mm. and to the people of Ningo and Pram Pram who are watching us this morning. Um, sitting here, you realize the disconnect between government mm. and its spokespersons and the reality on the ground. Mm. Um, they even fail to see sarcasm or recognize sarcasm when, when they see it. Mm. The TUC is being sarcastic. When the TUC says, well done on your macroeconomic indicators, mm. but we want to feel it, the TUC is actually siding with President John Dramani Mahama. When the how, TUC, how so? President Mahama said, when you lie to the people about economic indicators, mm. the real standard of living and the real way pocket of the people mm. will expose you. And that's what the TUC is saying. They're saying, well done. Well done on your macroeconomic figures you're throwing around. The figures you're banding around, well done on them. But let us feel the reality. That's what the TUC is saying. Mm. The TUC is simply re-echoing President Mahama's position. Mm. That you can come and churn out the fine economic figures. Come and tell us why, why, why is 5.3. When Oko is sending his wife to go and buy palm nuts to make palm nut soup for him, mm. to eat kokonte with it, he doesn't give her 5.3% GDP rate. He gives her Ghana City notes. Mm. Okay, so that's the reality. And, and if he doesn't know, a sister station has done a comparison. And our women are watching this morning. Joy, they did a comparison of January 2017 and January 2018 mm. of market prices. One bucket, one bucket of tomatoes mm. in January 2017 was 20 Ghana cities. Mm. By January 2018, it's 40 Ghana cities. Oh, it was 40 Ghana cities. Mm. They've not done the January 2019 one, mm. which has clearly gone up again. When you took over office in 2017, and the loan curve was six Ghana cities. By January 2018, it was 10 Ghana cities. So thank you for the macroeconomic indicators. Mm -hmm. A bag of onions was 120 Ghana cities in 2017, January. In January 2018, it was 180 Ghana cities. The Greek minister disagrees. He says production has gone high. The Greek minister, can sit, in, the the Greek minister can sit in his air-conditioned office and have conferences with fall army worms. These are prices from the market. These are not prices NDC is putting out. Mm -hmm. The NDC has done his own compilation of market prices. I'm not putting that out. I'm putting out what Joy FM did. Mm -hmm. Because you can't say that the Joy, F Joy FM is NDC, mm. okay? Kobe, small Kobe, it was costing four CD 50 pesos. Kobe, oh, yes, boy. Kobe fan. <laughs> in 2018, January, it was costing seven CD. Mm. The large size of tuna, which used to cost 40 CDs in January 2017, began to cost 58 CDs in 2018. Mm. A, a 25 kilogram of cassava, which used to cost 110 Ghana cities, cost 150 Ghana cities. Yam, one tube of yam, which is cost 8 cities in 2017 January. In 2018 January, was costing 15 Ghana cities. The point is this, that the they point have done here, nothing. The point here is that they can give us all the fine macroeconomic indicators. Mm -hmm. Those macroeconomic indicators have absolutely no meaning to us as ordinary Ghanaians if we are having to pay more. Mm -hmm. And look. I've seen a, a write-up by someone, okay, that makes a lot of sense. It says that all the MPP is interested in doing is using the Ivan Pavlov's classical theory of conditioning, okay? Mm. So they take away our lights. We are having doom so. But they say to us, hey, you don't have doom so. We're trying our best to give you more light. So be grateful to us that your lights are going off for 12 hours instead of, instead of going off for 24 hours. Mm. And expect us to thank them for what they're doing. They're borrowing to consume. They've borrowed over 80 billion. All used on consumption. And they're telling us we're investing in your future. Thank us for it. Our grandchildren and our children are going to come and pay for that. Mm. And that is the kind of economy they are running. They, 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 they tell us that the dollar, the dollar and the city, mm. when the dollar is beating the city red, red gold, green, mm. the city's eyes are, are blackened. They're telling us that, hey, thank us. If it wasn't for Baumia's wizardry, mm. economic wizardry, the city would have even depreciated more. So if it's depreciated this way, mm. we're still better. They're telling us that they've abandoned projects, capital projects, that will pay for themselves. Hospitals. Mm. He's a board chairman of a hospital. That hospitals we were building, which will pay for themselves. Mm. They're abandoning those projects. Water, roads, they're abandoning them. And telling us we don't need capital projects. However, we need to raise funds to build a cathedral. Because in that cathedral, we'll find the solutions is, to is a there, problem. Is there, no, is there, no, point, the is there no point you want to give them credit, the government credit, for at least achieving certain things? 
Well, you can you can you can you can you can credit this government for its MPC meetings and the fact that almost every MPC meeting, and I, I'll be fair here, almost every MPC meeting has sought to drop the policy rate. But the problem there is that's theory. Mm. Everything this government is doing that you can credit them with is theory. It's not practical because yeah, yes, the M it. because the Bank of Ghana mm. is dropping policy rates at MPC meetings, <clears throat> but banks are not dropping lending rates. Mm. The lending rates are not corresponding with the, 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 the MPC rates, that the policy, monetary policy rates. Mm. MPC rates is hovering around 17%. Interest rates are still around 27%. So there is no correlation. So if you, if you decide to invest rather, mm -hmm. and listening to Oko say that adding whatever value, uh, uh, aesthetic value mm. and security value, as we are told, to the Ghana CD, mm. is going to make the Ghana CD more acceptable mm. across borders and that it will be easier yes you said so that, that's what you said of course. that 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 it will be easier to be accepted across borders if we put in place some of those mm. security values well that's not it okay okay but, no, 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 no let me just land on that point mm. what it is that will make the cd acceptable in burkina and in other countries across the world is if the cd has a proper value Nobody trades in a value in a, in a currency that is the worst in Africa, worst performing currency in Africa, and the fourth worst performing currency in, 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 in the whole world. So what you're just doing is you are tying a pig mm. in fine raiment, in fine robes. It doesn't change the fact that it's a pig. It doesn't mm. change the fact that it's the worst performing currency. Mm -hmm. Look, we should be asking the Bank of Ghana. How much is it costing us to print the new notes? Right. Those are the things we should know. And let's find out if the cost of printing those new notes at this point in time will not have built new schools or constructed a road in Oko's constituency or fixed the Fenya Dawenya road. Dr. Oko, no. okay. maybe the Lekma yeah. Road as well. No, but no, no. let me, let me quickly ask uh, this question so you can have a. But, uh, so uh, you say that the, the figures are looking good. And yeah. Professor Kwati asked a question at the town hall meeting. Yeah. He said the figures are decent and they are nice. But he wants to see the corresponding jobs that have been created yeah. as a result of that. Um, my um, question is, yeah. how soon are we to feel this impact look, locally? I, look, why is it that the Estua government put a freeze for the first time? You had nurses who had sat in the house for three, four, five years. That was not a trend prior to 2012. Mm. Why? Why did the government willingly go to the IMF so that they can get policy credibility? I mean, Ghana was an economy that had been significantly run down. Mm. You understand? Ghana had been run down significantly. And this is not for me to say. Those who live in it were feeling it. And you see, this country experienced one of the biggest fiscal deficits ever in 2012. 12.2% of our GDP, reckless spending. We spent it when we did not have 12.2%. You said you were going to change. I'm it. coming, I'm coming. Yeah, you listen. 11.7%, mm. 2013. Three consecutive years, double-digit fiscal deficit. That was a big hole that we had to come out. That is why they could not even, for the first time, doctors, doctors, mm -hmm. sit, they were sitting at home for two, three years. Doctors unemployed. It never happened. When I finished school, three months, I was employed. This government has reversed that trend. That is a reflection of the lives we are talking about. Mm -hmm. I met a nurse during the campaign. I talked a lot. He said, you are talking too much. I've sat at home for four years. I'm a nurse. So go. I'm going to support you guys. That nurse today knows that we have done well mm. to absorb them. We've absorbed up to 2016. Mm. We came to meet a backlog about three, four years. Mm. Now, as I speak, I always use the health sector. Kolebu, we've had clearance. People were calling me, many calls. We've seen your advertisement. Doctors, health workers, lab technicians, they were calling because I talked to one gentleman at the polyclinic. Okay. For about seven years, they have not even absorbed one pharmacist into the mm. government sector. Mm. This government, because of the environment we've created, we are now absorbing them. Nobody, please, mm. nobody in this government is saying that we've reached economic paradise. Mm. But when you are dealing with government... Is there a disconnect? No, no. Look, let me show you. Where is the disconnect? Lending policy rates came from 25, 26 to about 17%. Mm. Ask anyone watching whether rates at the banks have gone up or have gone down. Let's be honest with ourselves. They've gone down. But it's by, the by extent. One, by exactly. One so, so the relationship... Is there's a correlation as the policy rates at BOG tanked started going down, mm. those in the banks also started going down, okay. just that the extent is not the same, right? Why not exactly? But of course, so the first point is to admit that it has started going down 27 mm. percent is not the same as 33 percent. Mm. In fact, some of the banks are giving out at about 24 25 percent. Mm. In the past, he is aware 
Those who do business are aware. Mm. Now, let's leave that one. Let's come to, uh, how do you call it, um, uh, private sector. Mm. I mean, I have figures from SNIT that shows that in 2017, about 187,000 people officially, formally, mm. were absorbed by the private sector. These are the former ones, which are captured as SNIT. Teachers, I tell folks all the time that nobody should be deceived to think that Joe Mahama did not like nurses and teachers. That's why he said he could not pay, no longer pay the allowances. The economy was running, was run so badly. He did not have the resources to sustain that program. One government comes within 12 months, fiscal year, one fiscal year, mm. reverse the trend, has started paying. Where do you think this government, Ekufado, gets 1.5 billion Ghana cities average to fund free SHS? Tell me. A year. It is prudent management of the economy. Not borrowing. Come on. Look, please, I'm coming. I'm coming. Look, if you, if you, if you, you please, I'm coming. Then. Look, if you compare <laughs> borrowing, eh? Before <laughs> President Mam, before the, the uh, Emil's Mahama uh, period, uh, the debt to GDP was under 50, it was just around 55%. Okay. By the time they were leaving, it was 73.1%, the debt to GDP, mm. the percentage. Mm. And that is why when you have a, such a huge debt to uh, GDP, what happens is that most of the money you raise will be used to service, uh, how do you call it, mm. debts. Mm. And that's why when they go like, since you came, show us a single kilometer of road, it's so, I don't want to say what, like someone used. Like the Lekma Road, you've given a contract during your time. You've accumulated debt, you've not been able to pay. We've come. We can't say that because we just came. We'll close our eyes and start a new road. We have to pay for the contract which we refuse to pay. Six certificates straight. So the point I'm making is that this government, mm -hmm. like the president said when he gave the State of the Nation address, this is a country that is not without challenges. But it is not in a bad health. Mm -hmm. It is in a good health. Okay. And, and remember, you know, most of the time, mm -hmm. people forget that this is a government that has operated for the past 24 months. Mm. That's just over two years. We are usually compared to a government that had eight straight years in office. I'm not talking about a president mm. where GM will come in. I'm talking about a government, an NDC government, that had straight eight fiscal years but, but in you, power. You said that their yeah. government was incompetent. If you now compare yeah. yourself with them, is no, that the standard no, no. you oh, want no, to no. choose yeah, yeah. to compare yourself? It's the more reason why in comparing ourselves to them, I don't use their measures to say we've done well. Even when, like Dr. Are, are they the standard to no, be? No, no, I'm coming. If they were I'm coming. incompetent. Uh, I think Dr. Mm -hmm. Baumia put it in the best way anyone can do it. Okay. That the worst performance of the city under our regime mm -hmm. is better than the best performance under GM. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for us, you cannot sit in the class in the University of Ghana mm -hmm. being the best student. When you say that oh, you are doing well than your previous guy, they say, oh, compare yourself to those in Cambridge. It is good to compare yourself to Cambridge mm -hmm. and want to aspire to do more. But nobody should say that you don't have the right. Okay. Especially mm -hmm. when the one in Legon that you are beating is the one making noise. It's the same GM. GM is a, what's the name so, for? So, so, no, what's the name for the currency? When uh, the I, one we did, re-denominated. Re, re I, I don't know. <laughs> GM has been re-denominated. <laughs> well, it's the so, same, so it's the same value. Uh, uh, go I'm Thank coming, you. I'm coming. Oh, but you have said we are home. It's because we are the incumbent. Okay, so so you are taking charge of my show. So let me come. They are appropriating everything. You see what I said to you? Because we are the at least. We are the Abuse of power. No, no, let me, let me, let me. Hold on, hold on, let me. Please. Incumbent. Yes. GM is the same GM. The same author of four years doing so. The same author of uh, economic bad management. More. Yes. GM has been, in a beautiful way, re-denominated. Just like the city? The, the, yes, okay. like the city there. But the value okay. is the same. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Sam, yes, I, I see, take, take a bite at this and yeah, let's yeah, move yeah. on. I mean, I mean, Oko Boy has gone on and on and on and on and on. But so, let's state, let's state, let's state that for the records. It is not true that under the NDC administration of John Dramani Mahama, there was no recruitment of nurses, or that there was no recruitment of, 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 no. of police. You have to retire. You understand me? There, uh -huh. there, there, there was recruitment, and we actually gave clearance. The first batch, mm -hmm. the first batch mm -hmm. of about 12,000 nurses that they claimed they had recruited, mm -hmm. the financial clearance for that was given under the NDC administration. When they came to power in 2017, the first thing they did mm -hmm. at the Ministry of Health was to halt that financial clearance. It took demonstrations by the nurses because they claimed those people were NDC people. Ghanians. You, couldn't pay. That's you understand me? Take, they halted it. So they cannot talk about it. But let me tell you. But, but there was a backlog. There was, yes, yes. Oh, oh, you know. And I'm saying to you, you and I'm know. saying to you that financial clearance was given for their for their for their recruitment. At the last hour. And then and then they came into office and halted it for over a year. 
So, was, so, so, so I, I, you, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering now, Sam. Yeah. Uh, before the election, they were, they were, they, they were qualified. <laughs> but no. But they were bonded. Yes. And then they didn't have financial clearance. It was just around 2016 that they had financial. 40 days election. election. Don't so, forget. Oh, don't on, forget. Do don't forget job. that in 2013. That was not the first batch of backlogs. There had okay. been back, there has constantly been, been a backlog right. because we do not have the capacity to absorb all of our nurses mm. immediately. Mm. There's constantly been a backlog. Right. So you cannot start the backlog from 2013. That would be very unfair to do. You, know, or, you understand me? You know. And so as we speak today, there are backlogs. Mm. Now, let me just remind Oko that the fact... Oko, allow him to, to make it. Uh, I mean, some there's God, government please. things. No, no, it's okay. We would we'll live with them. Some God. He's my brother, so I'll tolerate <laughs> it. But let, let's, let's, let's remind them. That compensation alone mm -hmm. on our national budget bill bill is 23 billion mm -hmm. and so coming out of the imf program that you failed to meet the targets mm -hmm. and you had to get a, a, a you, you got a carte blanche release with you failing to meet the targets does not mean you should just go on a spending you spree was, and start employing. a determined effort to move out of imf no, not, not a determined effort. Of the targets. You were not a determined effort. you understand me but you see for me let's just mind, let's be mindful of that again when he talks about the fact that rates are, are tanking now does he know where T bills came from under the NDC? They dropped from twenty two percent to sixteen percent under the NDC. So it is not realistic. It's not it's not it's not it's not peculiar to just your government. Under the NDC. Yes. When we were exiting. Yes, it was sixteen percent. It was sixteen percent. I think it was twelve. You know, it was 16%. It, 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 dropped from the, it dropped from 20 to 16 Currently, you dropped it to 14.7%. Oh, my brother. You understand? We you dropped from policy rate. Come you on. have a policy okay. rate of our 26. But, but no, no, no. I, I, I know that. I, 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 yeah, 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 but you I'm need now. to give me two more minutes to wrap oh, up because he's, he went on and on. Yeah, yeah, look, I am opposition. Look, no, no, no. There's one There's one government party, and I'm here speaking for all the opposition parties. There are 32 political parties in Ghana. 32 political parties. So I have the speaking right for 31 political parties. Say more than you, mean we. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you have consolidated. We, we need, they they need to be mean? mindful. They need to be you mindful. Send a rep of the consolidated. Is that what you do here? You bring consolidated. No, but those are his words. Those are not mine. Ah, okay. So you yeah. distance yourself. Let Let me right. remind Oko mm. that the John Mahama, who he says is really nominated. For the first time in many years, under John Mahama, for the first time, you had a balance of payment surplus mm. in this country. Really? Of 250 million. Ole! Hey, 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 ole! Hey, ole! Hey, 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 please, hey, please, 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 please. Oh, no, okay. 2017, let's let's move on. Thank you very much. Johnny, 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 oh. Johnny, 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 Johnny. That's this not should true. be unfair. George. That was That's quiet true. when he was speaking. No, 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 Every time I make a point and he interjects, no, 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 this no, is unfair. Okay, give us the source. Give us the source. That's not true. So, Johnny, you need to bring some decency. Honey, honey, if you need. No, 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 decency, please. No, I mean, he keeps jumping in every time I'm speaking. Okay. But you say he's your friend, you tolerate it. No, okay. but That's right now the handshake is going beyond okay. the, the, okay. the the elbow. Okay, it's okay. George, show us the source and, and where ah. you're quoting that from quickly. If, if, if you take if you take on. the 2016 budget statement, okay. it was stated in there mm. that in 2015 we had a balance of payment surplus. And the Ministry of Finance, this current Ministry of Finance, has accepted it. It is there. It's 2017. And, uh, no, what are you talking about? There will be no balance of payment surplus ah. under this administration. None. Ah. None whatsoever. Really? As we speak, as we speak, hey. the, the, the Ghana's, mm. Ghana's growth rate, the GDP mm. growth rate, mm. is all on the back of oil. Oil that we have two major findings under the same re-denominated John Dramani Mahama. That took our production from 78,000 barrels per day to over 200,000 barrels per day. Gave you oil, gas, uh, ga uh, uh, natural gas fields. Mm. That's John Mahama's legacy. Look, Who I will oil? tell you. I will tell you one okay. thing. Oh, no, no. Uh, Who look, discovered oil? You discovered oh, one well that gave ah. us 78,000. Another person has Please. discovered more Trade oil. Records. Check. Mo more oil. You is understand me? Mm. Check. But is this Johnny? Facts. Check. Johnny. Please. Oh, so, Johnny, if, if, if you guys want us to do this, no, the next no, no, the next time Oko is speaking, no, no, I would I would no, 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 at every single Deficits. point in time. But, but this was from your town hall meeting. Oh, but anyway, this from Ghana's statistics. Okay, let's let's no, 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 Johnny, I, I, I'm, oh, I'm landing. George, I keep no, saying. No, but, but he keeps interjecting. One, I mean, one minute. What, okay, so Oko, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to start interjecting so that then we all see how it goes. One minute, Oko, silence. George, one minute. Say what you want to say. I'm saying to you that as far as I'm concerned, I'm grateful to God. For giving us the gift of a region nominated John Mahama mm. to come and take us out of the doldrums that the depreciated Nanado mm. is taking us to. Mm. I would prefer a redenominated person who is at the same value. Mm. 
Ghanaian businesses will tell you that they will prefer the city to have remained redenominated at 4.1 to the dollar as John Mahama was leaving, mm. to the depreciated Nanado where the dollar is now 5.5. Mm. Ghanaian businesses and truck drivers and taxi drivers will tell you that they prefer the redenominated John Mahama, mm. that the value will be the same. That would maintain four prices at 14 cities per gallon mm. as he was leaving government because the value is the same, mm. to a de depreciated Nanado where the gallon of fuel has gone to 24 gallons. So when you are talking about a redenominated John Mahama, mm. absolutely, the value will okay. be the same. Mm. He will come back and, and continue the infrastructural redevelopment that he, that he commenced that will lead to jobs, that will lead to a better standard of living okay. and create the foundations for better takeoff Thank and economic stability. You. Not a depreciated Nanado who is interested in renaming edifices that he did not build. Let's wrap up in this way. Oh, 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 Five oh, oh, died oh, 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 in yeah. Sunday's uh, rains oh, in Accra. The Metro predicts that we'll have a double portion of it, and they named the coastal line and part of the eastern region. So Volta region, Greater Accra, Central Western, and uh, eastern region to have a double portion of rain. They're advising that people move from the low-lying areas and, you know, dangerous places and get to good places. This is a, a cycle, a vicious cycle that comes up every now and yeah. then. The president has called on NADMO to develop an... Uh, a, a disaster management plan. He's called for NABO to have that plan. But we have not seen that plan yet. And the rains are coming. Now, Vice President Baumia met with engineers and he says, we are setting up, uh, you know, a body to respond to uh, earthquakes and all of that. So it's been big speeches with no action. Will we ever no, get a solution? Uh, uh, forgive me, but just a second before I come to oh, this. Okay, uh, no, no, okay, it's okay. Boy. Let me see. You see, one of the things I don't miss is that of lessons from an experience. Mm. My brother George and his friends, they were talking in the same way proud to the 2016 election. Mm. That they were on top, they knew what they were doing, the Ghanaian was with them and all that. They had one of the most humbling defeats at the election. And I say it all the time, Ghanaians are not fickle minded. They looked at what they were going through mm. and voted. The one viewing this show, mm. they've lived in this country. Yourself and Jim, you were in charge with for us for some years. We know what you can do. Let's so move. yes, move it is not the talk; mm. it is the work that we are doing that okay. will speak for right. itself. Yes. Let's let's move on. I think you, you should. Know, I think you should. You should um, send this this soundbite to President Bao, yeah. the Vice President Bao. Disaster, yeah. disaster you know, management. Hey, <laughs> um, you know, um, we've done well as a government in many areas, in our Greek in education, in. There are, there are areas that when you go to, I speak with a lot of strength. One of the areas that when you go to, I'm not too excited, is the area of managing waste, mm. <clears throat> both in Accra across the country. <clears throat> I, I am of the honest opinion mm. that over the years, across governments, we've been too lukewarm okay. with uh, filth. Mm. We are a country that are not uncomfortable with filth. You understand? I don't want to believe it's a cultural problem. Mm. I was in um, Bronx about eight, nine years ago. Right. I met a lot of citizens from Africa. Mm. How the Bronx was, was not like downtown Manhattan, where a lot of whites were. So I don't want to believe that it's a cultural or race problem. Right. But you see, we must start to be very uncomfortable with field. When I say uncomfortable, if we live in an environment mm. where field is everywhere, as citizens, as residents, we must ask ourselves, what is the action now mm. to make sure this is gotten rid of? When I say what is the action now, what is the role of the assembly? What is the role of government? Mm. What is the role of you, the citizen, who finds himself or herself living? Many joints in Accra, you find a gentleman dressed nicely in jacket, going to queue by a watch joint, mm. somewhere in, let's say, Oxford Street, and the lady selling, in the morning, they cook their things just by the drain. And the drain is not clean. Mm. The point I'm making is that we citizens are part of the problem. But the bigger problem is leadership. I agree. We those in charge. Where's the plan? Yeah, yeah. I, I believe I've listened to the sanitation minister. I've heard a lot of programs mm. that they are rolling out. The president, uh, the last time, announced um, some of the initiatives for managing waste and all mm. that. What I can say, honestly, is that those who are managing other sectors, I say mm. it all the time, mm. in terms of pushing the president's agenda, they've made a lot of
progress mm. compared to those who are managing the areas of waste and order. That's why when I started, I started with the integrated recycling right. and composting plan. Mm. We need to see a lot of action. The, the promise yeah. is made from the sanitation ministry, for example, the yeah. sanitation marshals yeah. are nowhere to yeah. be found. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I asked a question about yeah. why, if you travel, say, to the yeah. U.S., you will find within yeah. every 100 meter radius yeah. A, a, yeah. a rubbish bin yeah. that you can drop your stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. I asked about the duty of the MMDAs, for yeah. example, yeah. in managing our waste. Yeah. I asked about criminalizing the fact that if you don't you know, have uh, a look, rubbish bin in your home, it should be yeah. criminal, really. See, Why are you putting your refuse? Look, but the sanitation ministry promised us all of this, even to a point where at a point Mr. Kofiada told us on radio yeah. that he's not responsible for collecting refuse, but he yeah. was a sanitation yeah, yeah, minister at the yeah, time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I so mean, see, the statements, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, doesn't look, inspire look, the citizens look, to do what look, they have to do. Myself, I'm a member of uh, the MPP. It's a party that is in power. And I'm being honest to tell you that the excitement with which I speak when it comes to other sectors, I don't speak with the same excitement when it comes to management of Can force. we ever change the narrative? Why not? And leadership is key. I want those who manage those sectors, from the minister to heads of uh, MMDCs mm. to the mayor, I want them to be aggressive. When I say aggressive, most laws are there mm. to guide us to address these problems. Look, we, we can do a lot. There's so much potential. Mm. Let me give you an example. Uh, wrap up for me so George yes. can have a bite. We, we're Just a few days ago, I visited um, one of the uh, companies that deals in Tricycle, not the normal tricycle. They mm -hmm. have a strong one okay. that is huge horsepower, right. 500, right. that can cut uh, rubbish and waste. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to buy one because there are occasions where myself, I lead the youth, we go and clean the whole place. Mm -hmm. Now you call on the assembly to come with the truck right. and it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it has to wait until it rains and then it Even goes Even wheelbarrow, back. sometimes. Yeah. I face that yeah, problem yes. so many times. Yes. You rally the young people, you want wheelbarrow yeah, and shovel, yeah, yes. and they don't have them. And you see, if a community led by the municipality, the municipal heads engages citizens and tells them, this is what we are going to do, even if you are paying, let's say, two cities, mm. and they have the power to take these uh, small, small, the assembly has the uh, power, right? To the make some, yes, right. yes. And then tell them, when you pay these five cities or mm. two cities, mm. these are the things you see changing. Right. We'll be collecting this. We'll do that. Citizens are willing. Mm. But you see, it is difficult for citizens who even mean well to take start an initiative mm. without an umbrella arrangement, sorry, without an elephant structure mm. from the assembly. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying? So the point that was on the last. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the point. Like the yeah, oh the, the, my goodness. the point is that there's a lot of work that assemblies must assist us to do. Right. And you see, whether I like it or not, this election mm. of MMDCs, George. It will help us. The, the four-year four four promise I'm, that I'm uh, Accra will be the yeah, cleanest I'm in Africa. Coming, is I'm it coming. possible? Looking at, the, looking at the rate we are going, it will be difficult to meet that target. We have to significantly improve upon. And mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm concluding with my last statement. We don't need to have high-rise buildings in Ghana mm -hmm. to show that we've become a second or first world. Mm -hmm. I was in East Germany. The only thing that tells you you are now in Europe is when you raise your head, the horizon is clean. Okay. Old buildings, narrow roads, just like a place in Nima. But the only thing that reminds you that you are in a foreign, a developed country, is the weather and the clean environment. Thank you very much. George, will we ever get past this annual report of little rain, big floods, people die, some missing, property destroyed, uh, authorities asking people to move to safer grounds, not both distributing rice, oil, and mattress, and then we'll come back, we'll make speeches, and then we're back to it. Will we ever get beyond it? Sadly, no. Why? Because I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Mm. I'm going to be a citizen here, not a politician. I'm going. I'm taking myself out of the political class and speaking to you as a citizen. Okay. I think it would. It would. It would. It would. It would never happen mm. because, as citizens, we are indisciplined. Mm -hmm. We we're not ready and willing to play our part, our civic responsibilities as citizens, mm -hmm. and we pass the buck constantly to a few group of elite people we call politicians and government. Mm. Now, because those elites, people called government and politicians know that as citizens, mm. we are reneging on our civic responsibilities, they also would renege 
on their obligations to the citizens, mm -hmm. and nobody has a moral right to call anybody to, to account. Mm -hmm. When politicians choose to play to the gallery, like we saw the president do in the last State of the Nations address this year, it gives you it so it shows you how we would not be able to fight this menace because you first and foremost mm -hmm. need the whole essence of the state is control. You need those in control of the state power mm -hmm. to show a certain understanding and aggression, a certain righteous anger. What do you see? You see the president telling us in the state of the nation, I'm gonna quote him. Mm -hmm. Last year, I reiterated before you my pledge of improving sanitation in the country and making Accra the cleaner city in Africa by the end of my term. Mr. Speaker. There has been a significant improvement in sanitation, mm -hmm. even though I acknowledge more can be done. That's our president lying to us before the representatives of the people. Lying is not a it's the truth. I mean, I told you, he, I'm not going to embellish it. Statistics. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to embellish maybe, it. Maybe the president was mis must misled. Then he should yeah, fire whoever sometimes. misled him. He sets the benchmark. Uh, sometimes but you see, okay, you right. see, you see, he goes on to say, this yeah. is currently the state of play. We are witnessing increase in the average of solid waste management to 16 percent from 16 percent to 53 percent mm -hmm. and over the course of the last year 35,862 household toilets were built as opposed to 1,698 in 2016 he said how has that you see these are figures mm -hmm. who's churning out these figures who's giving these figures have these figures can we can we verify them on the ground mm -hmm. okay the question we ask ourselves is if all of those has if all of that has been done what is choking our drains if the solid waste collection has improved from 16 percent to 53 percent mm. as the president said in front of the august house of parliament and don't forget when you mislead parliament it is a serious offense mm. serious offense this is clear example we've not entered a rainy season mm. but what happened uh, on sunday okay. it's clear example that the president misled parliament he came and peddled on troops to us when he tells us that it has improved significantly we see kaneshi we drive around town mm. look I live in a, in a part of Accra where I live. Every Tuesday morning, my refuse ought to be collected. Right. I put out my refuse last week, Tuesday, it wasn't collected. It stayed out till Thursday, and then I made them bring it back in because they can't have my refuse sitting in front of the house. Today is Tuesday. We've put it out again. Normally, they're supposed to be there at dawn. As at this morning, last week and this week's refuse is there. They've not come for it. But at the end of the month, they will come, the refuse collector will come that, and take I his money. The waste who, is, is... who is checking him? Because someone gave him that contract. Someone gave him that contract. Who is checking him? And you see, when the president goes on to say, and this was him speaking in 2018, mm. before he came and told us in 2019. In 2018, this is what he said. We are putting 200 million Ghana cities into addressing the sanitation challenges that we have. I am confident that by the time I come back next year, which was 2019 when he came, appreciable gains would have been made in improving our sanitation. Did the president commit 200 million Ghana cities to sanitation in 2018? No. It was in 2018 that you had the Australian High Commissioner mm. having to go and clean refuse right. himself. Where was the 200? It. Yes. Where was the 200 million the president? So it is all about the commitment of central government. Mm. If government is willing and ready, who is, go who is going to be responsible for the sanitation marshals? John Mahama? No. Or Epia Donko? Or Paku Sindhu? It's Nana Kufado. It was the sanitation minister, actually. The back stops with Nana Kufado. Look, when it was Jomahama, he had ministers, but we blame Jomahama for everything because the back stopped with him, and that was fair. Today, President Kufado has appointed 100 and what, 16, mm. if not almost 120 ministers. Mm. Jomahama had 70 what ministers. We were blaming him that the back stopped with him. The man who's appointed 100 and something, the back should not stop with him. We will hold him responsible. He and his vice president are accountable. It is President Kufado's face that was on the ballot paper. We didn't vote for any of the ministers. Okay. You understand Sam me? George. And so he needs to take the drive. Mm. He needs to ensure that the promises he makes, he shouldn't come and stand in parliament. That be what me fool. What me fool as citizens. The president must not come and stand in parliament and give us flowery English Johnny. and speak with a cockney accent and not implement what it is he's supposed Johnny. to do. You see, we are tired of the talk. You, you, We're more far. It's okay. Johnny. As a too, too much talk. Much action, talk. Yeah. Let's action. See, he's a young man. You don't say things like president speaking with a cockney accent. You don't oh, cockney accent, You see, don't don't, don't, don't play with the sub the shadow. Come, Focus see, on the substance of that's what I said. The president no. has failed in his promises see, to the people of Ghana. He's failed to deliver on the Sam promises George. he said. We're, we're he wrapping up, George. Yeah. Thank you. If if okay, you say final, final thought. if you say this, thirty government. seconds. You need to get angry, else your constituency will get flooded. My constituents, I'm so getting so angry because of where I live, because of my constituents. Okay, Johnny. Um, if you say this government has failed, you are a politician, you are mm. in opposition. I'm not going to maybe fight you for that. But to say the president misled parliament mm. and there are of, uh, consequences of punishment for that. You, money, I'm, 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 I'm coming. 
They are Did he commit the oh, 200 million? Oh, okay, we need to go. Well. My, my studio director Johnny, says we need Johnny, to go. So, but you are not Johnny, speaking. No, no, so, no, no. no, 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 no yeah, it is important for you us to realize damage that control. I was happy when you said you wanted to speak as a citizen. Which is what I did. Which is what I did. You the see, anger of the citizens. Across governments, even your mama, under him, you understand? Sanitation was not was anything. That's why you voted. Oh, I know, I know. You promised that in 18 please, months you will no, make no, a please, better Ghana. Please, Have you done so it? I thank you very please, much for your when time. When you are speaking, mm. when you, because you are part of the Sam system, George when you are speaking, you must be honest enough to admit Pram, Pram, that collectively uh, it's not here. done so well. There is a president uh, today. There is no collective government. We will fix it. We will fix it. Let your cookie also be my guest. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your Tuesday morning.